<laughs> Czyli nie zrobił ze mną tego materiału. Listen, I won't go through filming this with you, no. Damn woman, no. Nie, nie nagrywajcie. Don't record this. I ask you, please. I'll tell you something interesting in a moment. Have you turned it off? Have you, Scout's Honor? And people in general, did they survive with you so long? There are no roads to the majority of villages. One has to go on foot, on a mule, on a donkey. I try to visit the places that are inaccessible by car at least once a year. I've been in Albania five years. In 2000 I was assigned to work in Ibal, and this is where we are now. There was no one here during communist times. The places we are at now is where my parish ends. There is a small village at the upper end of this narrow gully called Serma. That is probably the most isolated inhabited place in all Albania. One has to walk five, six hours to reach the remotest villages and often to pass some quite high mountain chains. There are families that walk three-hour journeys every single Sunday to attend church. That's particularly hard in winter. They're often up to their waist in snow as they climb on their journey here. For me, that is clearly the work of the Holy Spirit. I'm Ded Nupemadi. I was born in the village of Ibal, and I am an inhabitant of this village and presently the village administrator. The village numbers about 120 families. The richest family in my parish would be one of the poorest in Poland. I'm not talking about disadvantaged families, but about normal, unemployed families. You have a small piece of land, not very much. Yes, yes. And what do you grow? I've sown maize. It provides for the bread. Is that enough to survive the winter? No, no, I will not be able to manage with only the maize, because I have a cow that has to be looked after and fed, and the children, and myself. Yes, it will not be enough. I know that you're presently without work. Where do you get the means? Do you get something from Social Security? How much? 32,000 for eight children, a wife and myself. That comes to one bag of cakes a day for each of you. I receive no other help. The biggest state benefit that any Albanian can receive comes to 12 euros per person. Very few people get the maximum amount of benefit. If someone has good land, then he either receives no benefit or he gets the minimum amount. If someone has land that's lying fallow and no work, then he gets more benefit. It's a system that degrades people. 
A family of 10 usually receives around 50 euros a month. What can a family buy with that sort of money? A sack of flour, a few liters of oil, salt, coffee, and that's it. For help with shoes, clothes, exercise books, they usually turn to the church. Aid comes sporadically, and it's definitely insufficient. We see children without shoes, dressed in rags. The roads are terrible, and the children often have to wade across the river. Everything gets damaged, especially footwear. And the winter is now approaching. I'm worried about how I will manage to dress my parishioners. About two years ago, some Swiss arrived here looking for somewhere to stay. For some years now, they've been running an agricultural development project in the region. At that time, they were just starting a program promoting the cultivation of potatoes. So we began counting the profit potential. I dared, and soon I was on a tractor. We ploughed the meadow that belonged to the church and so began my agricultural adventure. I didn't do it to earn anything, but rather to set an example for them to see that this land has some value. When Father Leonard first arrived here, he had difficulties with the language. He couldn't speak at all well. Now he's learned to talk and gets on well with the villagers. Catechism for all age groups takes place three times a week. Attendance is very good. Both the old and the young have a very high regard for Father Leonard. He is a very positive influence that is especially felt by the young generation. They gather here to play ball and then attend religious instruction. Something always happens three times a week. To add to all that, he looks after three other parishes for lack of priests. There aren't enough missionaries. We've said that there is one God. Who is he? The Father. Who's that? The Son. And here? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. That means that there is one, tied to the Father and to the Son. The Holy Spirit with the Father. That means that the three together make the whole. One God. <laughs> 